Hi, this is Dave Hansen. I'm here to play some old-time hockey like Eddie Shore, Tope Lake, and Dick Clapper with my buddy Josh Miller. Josh! I want to hear welcome you to a day in my life. Well, Dave, thank you very much for, for being on the show. We're hanging out with you with a day in a life. Very nice of you to do this. Uh, I want to dive right in because you know, I'm right in that wheelhouse where growing up, because uh, PG back in the day is a different PG than it is today. Yeah. And, and PG-13, I guess, back in the day is a different PG-13 than it is today. Um, your, your movie, uh, you were in Slapshot. You were, you were a big part of Slapshot. The story was about you. Uh, growing up at a young age, I don't know if I, I, in today's day, if I was able to watch that. But now, uh, looking back, Greatest movie I've ever seen. I mean, Caddyshack, Slapshot, maybe a Bull Durham, but even that doesn't even touch that, the legacy. Uh, for you growing up, uh, you're a hockey player first, and that's where I want to go into. Uh, you were uh, born in Wisconsin, grew up in Minnesota. Growing up as a hockey player, what kind of player were you? Well, first going back to your point about the PG and PG-13, there's, right. a, there's a story out there that probably a lot of people don't realize, but we remind parents when they come in and they bring their little 10-year-old kids and they said, oh yeah, he's watched Slapshot. And, uh, I always tell them, I said, you know, back then when, when the film was going to be getting ready to be released, the, uh, the people who ever determined what rating they're going to yeah. give it actually wanted to rate it X. They felt at that time it warranted <laughs> an X rating. So there was quite a bit of an argument going on to finally get it down to an R rating. So I tell these parents, you know, you, you, you're actually showing your kid an X-rated film. Right. And then I go on and say, man, I wish I had parents like you when I was growing up. <laughs> but back to your question, um, you know, I grew up, growing up in Minnesota, you know, it's, it's one of those states where, you know, anything that, it, it's, a, it's a country or a, a state full of water, so everything freezes and the winters are long. So, you know, it's not uncommon for kids to be 